Hey guys, Cam here from PhoneDog.com and on April Fool's Day this year, Microsoft saw fit to send a bunch of its tech community an unusual package. I unboxed it and showed it off a couple of days back, and you can see that video by clicking a link I've left in the description box. In short, the company released an MS-DOS app for Windows Phone to the App Store. And since then I've been playing around with it and discovered a bunch of really cool and useful commands. And I guess, since they're not exactly obvious, they're all hidden. Oh, and you're going to want to watch until the end of the video because I've saved the best until last. Number one on my list is colour. If you type colour, you get a list of background and foreground colours with an assigned number or letter. To change the MS-DOS colours, simply type colour and the number letter combination you want. Number two is camera. I guess there's no surprise here that typing camera launches the MS-DOS camera app. You can switch between ASC2, CGA and black and white cameras, taking pictures with the front or the back sensors, and you can save them to your device. Number three is search. If you type in search followed by your query, it launches the Cortana interface complete with your search. Sadly, it didn't work when I tried to type Cortana. Typing weather launched the Cortana interface with searches for weather as well as weather in my current location. Number four is kind of a two-in-one. It's date and time. Now, if you type date or type time, and MS-DOS shows you the current date or the current time. Number five is one of the coolest commands. It basically launches Windows 3.1. To show us how far we've come over the past 30 years, Microsoft built in a mini version of Windows 3.1 into the app. Simply type Win and it launches. Its options are limited though. There's an internet icon complete with the old dial tone when you launch it. There's contact, mail and calendar which take you to where you'd expect them to. And Marketplace takes you to the Windows Phone app market. While Review lets you submit a review for the MS-DOS app. Lastly, Media takes you to an old version of Media Player, which has just one delightfully quirky polyphonic music track. Number six is Map. Simply type Map and you guessed it, the Maps app launches. Number seven is MS-DOS version. If you type in ver or VER, MS-DOS tells you its version number, which in this case is MS-DOS Mobile 1.0. Number eight is the clear screen. Once your screen is full of commands and responses, you might want to clear it. It can get a little bit cluttered. So type CLS and all previous content is wiped from the screen. Number nine is the Windows Phone Market, which you access by simply typing Market. And then it launches the Windows Phone App Store. Number 10 is the internet. If you type internet, it launches your web browser. But if you want to go direct to a specific URL, type internet followed by the address you want to go to. For instance, typing internet, www.phonedog.com will take you to our site directly. Number 11 is a three-in-one. It's email, SMS, and phone. If you type in email, SMS, or phone followed by your desired email address or phone number, it will send an email, text message, or it will call the person you're trying to contact. Number 12 is your contact list. If you type phone select, you take into your phone's contact list or address book. From there, obviously, you can choose who you want to get in touch with. Number 13 is format. And this is one of MS-DOS Mobile's more humorous options. It tries to format the hard drive. Type in format C and a colon, and the attempt is made before Cortana swoops in to save the day. Number 14 is floppy disk access. Like the original MS-DOS, you can type A colon to try and access the floppy disk, at which point it makes the appropriate noise and tells you it can't detect one. Number 15 is help. If you type help, it gives you a ton of options to try. Number 16 is perhaps the best of the lot. And I wasn't joking when I said I would save the best till last. You can play rock, paper, scissors. This is by far the most complicated of the commands because it involves several steps. First type CD games, then CD RPS, then rps.exe. From then on, you get a bunch of options to choose from and Cortana guides you through the process before launching the rock, paper, scissors game. 
It's an 8-bit wonder where you choose your weapon and hope the PC chooses the weaker one. So those are my 16 commands that you absolutely have to try if you have a Windows phone. I'm at phonedog underscore cam on Twitter. You can get a hold of me on there or just use the comments in the section down below. Don't forget, if you do like our content, please do leave a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and we will keep you updated with all the cool happenings in the mobile phone industry. I will see you again soon.